Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the Crochet Diaries. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a pineapple AirPods case. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Tammy. I upload weekly crochet content, so if you're interested, head on down below, subscribe, and turn your notification bell. Also, leave a like and comment under this video your favorite fruit. Let's get into it. We're starting this from the bottom for the opening where the charger is going to go. So to begin, you're going to take your yellow yarn, make a slip knot and chain 10. Now that we have our 10 chains, we're going to connect it. So to do this, you're going to make a slip stitch into the first chain you made. Now we finished our foundation row, we're going to move on to row 1. Chain 1 to start your new row. Now place 2 single crochets in the first stitch. You're going to be increasing in the first stitch to form the shape of the AirPods case. Now you're going to place 1 single crochet in each of the next 3 stitches. Now that you've finished those three stitches, we're going to do two increases. So in each of the next two stitches, you're going to place two single crochets. Now you're going to do three single crochets again. Now in the last stitch, you're going to increase by placing two single crochets there. Then make a slip stitch on top of the first stitch to connect this row and that's the end of row 1. Chain 1 to begin row 2. You're going to increase in the first stitch by placing two single crochets there. Now you're going to put one single crochet in each of the following five stitches. We're going to do two more increases now. So in each of the next two stitches, you're going to put two single crochets. Now you're going to do regular single crochets until the second to last stitch. This is the last stitch, so you're going to put two single crochets here. Now slip stitch on top of the first stitch of the row and connect it and let's move on to row 3. Chain 1 to start row 3. And for row 3, we're just going to make regular single crochets all around and we're going to repeat this for 8 rows. So rows 3 to 10 are going to be your regular single crochets.
Here are my eight rows completed and that's it for the bottom part of the case. Now we're going to move on to the top part. Make a slip knot and chain five. Now you're going to make an additional chain one as your turning chain and make two single crochets in the second chain from the hook. Now put a single crochet in each of the following three stitches. In the last stitch, you're going to place four single crochets. We're going to start working across from the stitches we just made. So in the following three stitches, you're going to place one single crochet in each of them. In the last stitch, you're going to place four single crochets. Now connect it with a slip stitch into the first stitch. That's the end of row one. Now you're going to chain one to start row two and place two single crochets in the first stitch. Now make a single crochet in each of the next five stitches. Then increase in the next two stitches, place two single crochets in each of the next two stitches. Now single crochet until the second to last stitch. In the last stitch, place two single crochets and then that's the end of row two. Make a slip stitch into the first stitch you made and connect this and let's move on to row three. Chain one to start row three. Rows three to five are going to be your regular rows, so for the next three rows you're just going to make single crochets all around. So this is what it looks like when I've finished those three regular rows. Now we're going to sew the top part to the bottom part. So you're going to thread your tapestry needle and I'm going to use five stitches to connect it. That means I'll be sewing five stitches together. So you're going to line it up like this and put the needle through both pieces and sew it together. Here's what it looks like. Now we're going to make the green parts for the top. Grab your green yarn, make a slip knot and a chain 5. Make 
Make a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and all the way to the end of the row. Now chain 6 Make a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook Then make a slip stitch in the next chain after that Then make single crochets in the chains remaining. Then connect it to the main piece with a slip stitch then you're going to chain 6 and keep repeating this. Make a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and in the one after that. Then you're going to single crochet until the bottom. Now connect it to the bottom piece with a slip stitch, make a slip stitch anywhere, then you're going to chain 6 and keep repeating this. You are going to make two slip stitches at the top and then single crochet until the bottom connect it and you're going to keep doing this until you have about five to seven of these extensions I think I've made enough now so I'm going to cut the yarn off and sew this to the top of the AirPods case. And remember to leave a piece of yarn attached to it so you can use this to sew it on to the case. Put the yarn through the needle and sew it onto the top of the case and ensure you're making enough stitches to attach it firmly so it won't fall off. I'm going to make a few more stitches until I feel it's attached enough. Thanks for watching. Remember to follow me on my other social medias. I'll link them in the description box below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.